10 Kentucky Derby winners have been born at Claiborne Farm. The Stallion Barn has been home to royal bloodlines. The graveyard is a monument to legends. Here, past champions bear hope for new arrivals, like the two foals born in 2010 who grew up in stalls just feet apart. Well, you've got two horses coming out of the same barn. They looked at each other from the time they were weaned until they left here. I'm not sure if that's ever happened before, where two horses from the same field are facing off in one big race. Departing is owned in part by the Hancock family, who've overseen Claiborne Farm for more than 100 years. Orb is owned by cousins Diddy Phipps and Stuart Janney, members of storied racing families that have kept their horses in the Hancock's care for four generations. They've trusted their horses to us for over 50 years now, and that's unusual, I think, in any business, let alone the horse business. Today, enduring partners become friendly rivals for a race that will take the measure of two horses who first sized each other up three years ago. They know each other well. They run around together for months and months and months. They'll get up and fight with each other. I notice that Orb has a little slit in his nostril. I don't know if that came from maybe maybe departing did that in the field. I do think that race horses are herd animals, and they do have a sense of who's the top horse. They learn it out in the fields. That's why you let them run together when uh, they're young. I certainly hope that when Departing and Orb were out in the same field, that uh, Departing got a sense of, uh, you know, that Orb was superior. You know, I think when those horses go in the gate, we're going to feel like we've got two in there, and they're going to know they've got one. If they win, we're going to be thrilled for them, and thrilled for racing, too. So I'll be rooting for both of them to run the very best they can. You know, since the Orb's owners are longtime Claiborne clients, you might think the Hancocks would be reluctant to run against Orb. Who knows, maybe even deny him a triple crown. But again, it's that old-school attitude on the part of both camps that says, if you got a horse that belongs, let's find out which one of them is the best.